All right, so a COVID alert now and big news. A decision just a short while ago on a COVID vaccine for young children. A CDC committee greenlighting Pfizer's COVID-19 shots for kids aged 5 to 11. So now it goes to the CDC director, Dr. Rochelle Walensky. She has the final say on whether the shot should be given. That could come within just hours here. If she gives the go-ahead, the first doses could be administered by midweek. So what's next? What do parents need to know to get the shot for their child? News tells Eileen LaPalmer takes a look. We have to wait two more weeks. Parents like Christina Orr trying to sign her eight-year-old son up for an appointment for the COVID-19 vaccine. We just want kids to live their life to the fullest, and it's, it's been a long road for everybody. By 1045 this morning, 300 doses of the Pfizer pediatric COVID vaccine had arrived at Dr. John Zazzo's office in East Meadow. We will be setting up these pods uh, eventually as it comes through. A third of the dose actually generates as much antibody response in that age group as the full adult dose. The kid doses, like the adult doses, have to be kept in a freezer. The difference is Pfizer has labeled these orange for the kids and the adult ones are purple. But getting an appointment right now isn't easy. By late Tuesday afternoon, all the major pharmacy chains, CVS, Rite Aid, and Walgreens, were still not taking appointments for children under 12. None of the major hospital systems on the island have announced plans to host mass vaccination sites either, including Northwell Health, Catholic Health Systems, or Stony Brook University. The push is for pediatricians' offices to give the shots. It's been hours and hours of logistical planning. Dr. Mark Lashley is with the Allied Physicians Group, which serves 200,000 children. They plan to hold two drive through mass vaccination sites next weekend, but for their patients only. One will be at the Coleman Campground in Freeport, the other at the Crestwood Country Day Camp in Melville. We uh, have enough vaccine for 1,000 children for each day. We did a survey of parents and found out that 66% have asked to give the vaccine now to their children. 33% uh, are either not wanting it or unsure. In East Meadow, Eileen LaPalmer, News 12 Long Island.